everybody it's Amy how are you yes I am <sighs> a little bit late I'm sorry um, Thursday was kind of a rough day um, that was my day my doctor's appointment uh, Wednesday night I only slept about two hours and had to get up at 630 to go to class and then went to uh, the doctor's appointment right after and I didn't get home till probably six o'clock that night and I was dead tired. I lay down on the couch, pretty much went to sleep and woke up 11 o'clock-ish, got up, went to bed. That was about all she wrote. Um, and then yesterday I just kind of didn't feel all that good. I wasn't getting in enough protein. Nothing has tasted good. I'll get into that in a second. Let me go ahead and do the stats. Um, get those out of the way. The highest recorded weight loss that I have on record is 322.4. That was February 16th, 2014. That weight was kind of sort of what started this weight loss surgery process again. Um, for those of you that have watched my other videos, you know that I've gone through this process once and was denied because it was too new of a surgery. Um, I had surgery on December 19th, 2014, the day after my final exam for first semester of nursing school with Dr. Bruce Shermer at University of Virginia in Charlottesville. Love my team, love my doctor. I was so glad to see him Thursday. Um, when he came in and shook my hand, I said, hi, how are you? I said, it's been so long. I said, last time I saw you, I barely remember seeing you. So, um, <laughs> in my surgery day weight, was 314.8. Uh, my week four, which was last week, was 294.2. And I come to you this week. I weighed today and I weighed at the doctors on Thursday. I did not weigh yesterday. Um, so uh, both today, I did weigh when I got home from the doctor and my scale is a tiny bit higher than theirs. Uh, one and a half pounds ish or two pounds um, so but today my scale actually said the same thing that my doctor's scale said so I've dropped a little bit so total um, my weight as of today on my scale and the same like I said the same that the scale said at the doctor's office on Thursday is 289.8 which gives me a total loss of 32.6 pounds I think it is um, actually I didn't write that down the total um, so anyway so 294.2 last week week 4 and 289.8 which I should have calculated that before I sat down here huh um, I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm too tired I am getting, I still am getting tired quicker. Um, when I went to the doctor Thursday, he said I'm right on track as um, far as weight loss. I'm exactly where they thought I would be. And like I said, his scale is a little bit lower than mine. Mine weighs me a little bit higher, but um, his highest weight for me was 320.0. So, you know. Um, down to 289.8 and according to my scale and his scale now so um, and I do weigh when I feel like it I don't weigh every day I don't have a schedule to weigh I just do it when I feel like it and I did it today and it was 289.8 so um, yesterday I didn't feel so good I had a oh back to the doctor's appointment he said I'm right on track from weight loss um, he said I was doing so well that I didn't even have to have my blood drawn. He said if I feel like I need to, if I feel funny or something, then I can, but I'm pretty much right on track. Um, that time of the month is here, so I think my iron's a little extra low right now, which is why I'm so sleepy all the time, because I'm always like that during that time of the month. And um, he said to up my calories to 800 a day. Um, I have not yet reached that goal. I have been able to, on days, reach my 60 grams of protein goal, but I'm noticing if I just eat eggs or um, just 
you know, little things like that, I'm not meeting my 60 grams of protein goal. So I need to start incorporating tilapia more often, maybe even every day or things like that because I'm not reaching my 60 grams of protein. Um, he said, I don't want to see you in here in three months with hair loss, which I mean, I haven't reached my goal but a couple times, so I know that's going to happen. But I know it'll come back too, so if it does, then, you know, people just have to stare at me like that. Um, so you do, you notice a difference? I noticed this line that wasn't there before, like it's shrinking in. See? I'm noticing in my neck a little bit, I think. I, this line wasn't there before. Um, like this, this wasn't like this, I don't believe. I'm going to have to go back and look at old videos, but I don't think so. And like to look sideways, I mean it's still there, but it's it seems to be getting smaller. Um, I, I am noticing a little bit in my face, I think. So we'll see. I'll look back at my other videos and compare this one too. Um, I, I'm noticing it in my hands. I'm noticing it in my feet and ankles. And I am noticing it in my legs. I'm noticing it in the bathtub. Because when you sit in the tub and you're overweight and you're super morbidly obese, your stomach gets in the way of washing your thighs, washing your you know what, your hoo ha's. <laughs> it, it gets in the way of that stuff, you know? I mean, anybody watching this video that's watching this for weight loss surgery or has had weight loss surgery, you know what I mean. It's, it's full, it's hard, it's not real movable. I mean, you can move it, but you gotta, I mean, it, it's in the way. Um, especially when you're all squished in this tub. Well, I'm noticing that my stomach, while still big, is more squishy. Not like loose skin squishy, but squishy like there's more... There's less fat in there. There's less in there than there was. Even though I'm not really noticing a huge size difference, I'm noticing the fullness difference. I'm noticing that in my legs. Um, I'm noticing it when I walk, that my legs don't seem to rub together quite as much as they did. Not that, like I said, not that you can see a difference, but I can feel a little bit of a difference, which kind of is awesome. I like to see it too, but um, other people say they can see it. Like a girl at class the other day came up and told me, she said, wow, you really look like you've lost a lot of weight. And I'm like, well, it's like 32 pounds, so um, makes me feel really good. So anyway, I guess, um, I guess that's it for today. If you hear scrubbing upstairs, my 16-year-old has a girlfriend, and I have agreed to let her come over one day next week. She's really nice. Um, a lot nicer than the girl that he talked to before her. She was not, um, I don't want to say not good enough for him because it's not that she wasn't good enough. She was too young for him. And, and not too young as in, I mean, my fiance and I are 19 years apart. So I don't have a problem with age difference. I have a problem with age difference when you're 16 and she's not 14 because that's starting to get into, even if you didn't do something physical with her, but her parents think you did, or she gets mad at you and says you did, you could get in legal trouble for something like that. That's, that's when I have a problem with age difference. She wasn't old enough for him. Um, and, and I know that some point some part of her family used drugs, but I don't judge, um, I don't judge somebody that he talks to based on their other family members because I don't want people to judge him based on his father. Um, because if people thought, if I was a mother and my daughter was dating a guy that had his father and I judged Jeremy based on his father, I would not allow my daughter to be around them. So, 
I don't want anybody to judge Jeremy based on his father because he's not his dad. He's uh, a really good person. He's really caring. He went into the dollar store yesterday. Don't tell him I told you. Um, he went to the dollar store yesterday and uh, went and bought some deodorant and Axe body spray and shampoo and st you know that kind of stuff. And um, he bought her some chocolate and took it to her. And I thought that was so sweet. Um, so she's going to come over in a couple of days and hang out here. So he's upstairs cleaning his bathroom because he said, Mom, I know I'm not allowed to have her in my room by myself. He said, but can I at least show her the house? So he's upstairs scrubbing his own bathroom and um, cleaning that up so that he can show her the bathroom and be proud of it. That's so sweet. I just love him. I'm so proud of him. Um, he's really growing up and taking responsibility and I'm just so proud of him. I guess I've done something right because he's turning out to be a fine young man and any girl would be lucky to have him as a husband one day. So, and he's got a good male role model now that shows him what a man should do. Um, be respectful and not hit and not threaten to hit and not threaten to kill and you know, that kind of stuff. So, anyways, I will go and I think that's it. I'm down to 289.8, which was another one of my goals to get in the 280s. Because the last time I was in the 280s, I was still married to their father. Um, we lived in a different town. And Jeremy, well, Jeremy was probably two. So it was about 14 to 15 years ago since I've been in the 280s. So that's exciting. Um, and yes, I am wearing a little lip gloss. I'm not a big lipstick person, but I love lip gloss. So I'm feeling better. Um, water's still not doing well. The doctor said that's very common to not be able to tolerate plain water after the surgery and that he's all, every patient of his, it has gone away. He said maybe in another month um, it will go away and I will be able to have my plain water again. Um, and I think that's why the protein drinks weren't t settling with my stomach is because there was not enough flavor in them. And the nutritionist also said that she, that it is very common also um, in what they have seen in their patients that if you add something to your water, then it helps the plain water be tolerable. That's my 16 year old. I cleaned my shower. He's cleaning his shower. I'm so proud. Okay, um, so I'm gonna have to tell her to watch this video. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you soon. I may come back before next week. I don't know. I got some cooking videos planned, and I've got, um, I've actually got a new business. EasyGourmetMixes.com EasyGourmetMixes.com uh, It's uh, different mixes like some of them there's, there's wheat pasta in some of them uh, there's a vegetable soup that has wheat pasta in it that only requires water um, and then if you want to add a meat to it then you can but and then there's some things that some things just require like water some things require water. There was um, a chicken salad, tropical chicken salad, that has some, one of them has macadamia nuts and the other one doesn't. But it's got like pineapple in it, and oh my goodness, it looks so good. And all you have to put in it is chicken, like the um, canned chicken and mayonnaise. And that's it, it comes with everything else. And so I can't wait to start making those videos. Um, I'll put a link. I have another channel that I'm actually going to do those videos on unless I upload them here too. I'm not sure. Um, but I'll, I'll put you a link down to that channel and I don't have any videos on it yet. I just got my kit today so um, I'm excited to try some of these and uh, some of them the stats are pretty good. Some of them the stats aren't really good. Some of them are no sugar added. Some of them are gluten-free. I don't have any of those yet, but um, I like the whole wheat, whole grain options. Um, and then, and then if you don't want the noodle, you don't have to. But a lot of people need those carbs. 
um, that they don't lose as much weight if they don't have the carbs. So I don't know that I'm going to be that person, but, um, oh, and about the milk, the doctor said to try soy milk because there is a lot of people that do become lactose intolerant after the surgery. And I've always kind of sort of had a little bit of an irritant towards milk. Uh, when I was little, my mom said that if I ate ice cream one night, the next night I looked bloated. So, um, I've always had a little bit of a sensitivity, I think, but never really an intolerance like I have right now. And, uh, and he said that may or may not go away, but the plain water stuff should go away. So, all right, I'm out of here. Love you guys. Bye. I want to say hi to people.